Yes, sir. Back up in this thing. But yo, um, but yeah, how was the day though, man? How, how was your uh I didn't have a day <laughs> off. <laughs> no, no, I, I was at the store today, so it's pretty dead. Okay. Nothing, else, yeah. nothing else to say except it was a dead fucking day. That was about it. Um, I, yeah. Well, made the money. The, the holiday. I mean, hey, that's what matters. If you get paid regardless, you get you get paid regardless. Nah, bro. Like it's one of the ones where I, uh, earlier in the morning I missioned out to the grocery store. <clears throat> Sorry. And uh, yeah, bro, she was she was closed. She's closed for the holiday. I said, "Oh no!" Had a mission right back. I was like, "Yo!" But it's not even like you know when you go online and you check, and it it says like, "Oh, holiday holiday may affect hours." That should be the same. It should just say closed if that's the case. You know what I mean? Like, but I agree. What, what are you gonna do? Literally, gonna- that was most of my phone calls today. It was are you guys open? Hey, are you guys open? <laughs> I mean, that's the thing, like, although you can, you can make the silly voice, but it's like, bro, that's the bullshit, because it's like, the website might be saying, like, oh, that you're open, but then you get there and it's closed, like, it said that the hours were what the hours were, it's just said that the holiday might affect them, it didn't say that it's closed, and it's going to save me a solid, like, however much time, right? I agree, but that's Google for you. <laughs> That's the thing. That's why it's like I, I, I totally get the motherfuckers who like the customers who be calling up. Oh, uh, are y'all open? Because that's what it is, bro. But beyond that, <clears throat> going going to the going to and from like wherever you're going in this city, like especially if you're taking any type of public transit, you're not in your whip, bro. You're bound to see the most in a, just an array of characters, bro. And it's like it's it's a beautiful thing. But then you think to yourself, like, where these people be going after they get off the bus or get off the subway or get off the, like, I mean, logically, like, somewhere, someone might be like, oh, yo, he's going home or going to work or whatever. But it's like, when you think about it, it's like, yo, so many different people, like, the fact that there's so many different people, like, and everybody has their own little reality, bro, it's, it's just, it makes you think. Because one, one guy was talking on the subway trend, like, going in on his cell phone, like, on some intense type stuff and, he, and then he got off the subway in a hurry and i'm like oh shoot this guy must be like it's real whatever's happening with this guy it's, it's extra real and then it's like it, just in the sense of like what you what you see when you when people are like all passionate in a public transit or public area yeah, yeah. um sorry i'm just looking for there's a word that there's a word to describe that feeling you're going through right here i'm just having to find it right here i just got to read through this yeah, thing unfortunately so- Check it out, man. That's what it is. Try to find out the uh, the word for it. But uh, yeah, man. It's one of those things. And if it's not like seeing somebody go like go through like a like being all like hysterical about something, it's just uh, it, it could be somebody on a like you might just see somebody flat out just sleeping, and it, it doesn't mean it's not any type of judgment because they're not necessarily like quote-unquote homeless or anything like that like they might be wearing a fresh ass outfit or whatever as far as like perception goes and then they're just chilling sleeping and you're like bro you're gonna miss your stop motherfucker but it's just funny but anyway (laughs) so so the word uh it's it's a very like it's just an obscure word but it's called it's sonder the realization that each passerby has a life as vivid and complex as your own that's what that is i was gonna say but see and i wasn't even looking at it like as far as like to be defined because i was looking at it more of a it's just funny to think that we all have different realities it's not even about saying like yo like this guy's because again like i was as i was just kind of expressing buddy was just one guy was just on a phone passionately another dude was just sleeping and i was thinking like yo you gonna miss your stop but it's just it's one of those things i mean it, it, i enjoy it because it's, it's something that like not every city has as far as like some people like it's so like everybody's just uniform it seems like certain places like in certain uh japan or china or certain other places like that but here where everyone's a little bit more free as far as like destination wise something to observe you know yeah it's just it's interesting um i could say the same but customers come into my store but (laughs) that's one thing um yeah it's 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 definitely different being in a big city and like riding public transit and just seeing all like the characters that uh, ride that as well too. But um, 
where I live, I live right downtown here. And that's where all the stuff it like all the bad stuff is happening and whatnot. And you just, you see everything, you see all walks of life around here. So it's very interesting to say the least to some nights. <laughs> that's what it is, bro. Uh, there's the, um, what is it called? Like, uh, I'm trying to think of, I'm trying to think of it. It's like, um, in Toronto, like a big region, like, I don't know. It's, I guess there's different parts in the city where like people like set up shops, so to speak, as far as like, where there's different markets or whatever cases, but it's just like little hubs of, um, I want to call it necessarily like little boroughs or whatever, as if it was like, uh, New York or whatever, but it's just like, just places where people like, because it's just, it's like, it's like little neighborhoods, but it's like, they have like, like, I don't know, like Chinatown, Greek, little, little, little Portugal, little Italy, stuff like that, right? Ethnic enclaves. How, whatever, whatever the the word is for it, more or less, but yeah, like, it's just, it's dope to see, because when you go in these different little areas, bro, and you like experience the food or the different, like, go to different bakeries or, 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 check out the different like whether it's different little uh churches or things that they have built in what seems to be like their architecture like that's that's dope too man i mean diversity like because we're we're talking about like i guess people as individuals but then when you think about it more like kind of although it's all a melting pot but then we think about the even like the smaller like tribes within it like it's kind of dope man like it especially in a city like this because like Although every city may not have it, it well, they may have it, but it might not be to like, like every city might not have like a, a, a Chinatown, for example, or uh, a little Italy or something like that. But you see like the different areas or, or even sometimes it might just be a store to a, a culture and what they're about, whether it's a bakery or just different types of uh, clothing that their culture may make. And that's what they sell in that store. Like it's kind of dope to see, man. I was staying in the uh, like the Jewish portion of the town when I was there last weekend. Like we were right next door to a synagogue. Okay. There is we took a ride out past like in around the neighborhood, and there are so many like uh, Hebrew schools and like uh, synagogues and stuff, and they're massive, like fucking huge, and it's just like oh wow, like well, like you were yeah. saying about the architecture and whatnot, right? Like it was yeah. just like this is incredible, like just in this part of the city or whatever yeah it's just it's just interesting to see how these things like that has to be at least 100 years old maybe even more maybe even less who knows um so like just interesting to see that like these things stand the test of time and keep like going on as opposed to like there's a lot of places through here where i can drive through and you see oh that used to be an old church now it's somebody's house or that used to be an old you know what i mean like I've seen a lot of that. Uh, there's a lot of that as well too. So it's it's just interesting. It's just yeah. interesting. Like like you said, the neighborhoods and how they're set up, and all of a sudden, like you're, oh, I'm in a new neighborhood, and all of a sudden it's like you know someone else's neighborhood, basically, it's just like a different, just a different flavor. It's like yeah, it's like an immediate. But that's the thing. It's the fact that it's almost depending on where you are. It's almost an immediate change. Like whether it's from like the uh, people you see outside walking around or whatever like and it's 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 good because it's like if if you're within that community it's like you're building and it's thriving and things of that nature but then it can be looked at the other way in the sense of if others were not welcomed not saying that's not that that is the case in most places because most places man when you go there like you can just go whether it's a fish market anything like you can just go to different places but it's just it's it's Sometimes there can be like a, um, I don't even know, like not like a, a stigma or a stereotype, but like it can be like like where you might just kind of give off like a aura where it's just like, oh, I don't want this person, I don't want that person, and it's, it's strange because it you think as you're building up in this community and trying to have it thrive, bro, like you you think that you want the most business or you want like especially if it's if it's you come with an understanding that it's a multicultural place. So like to try to not invite everybody would kind of, it wouldn't really seem like right, so to speak, you know? I don't know, it's just, there's little things that you know, like little uh, things you, yeah, things you notice that are good and bad when you 
to have certain sectors within a city that are different cultures too, even though the whole city's multicultural and like everybody's everywhere, so to speak. It's, it's one thing to have like these separate neighborhoods and like, oh, they like all the Korean people stay like they generally congregate around this period, part of town because that's where all their people are and they feel comfortable all that and they can speak their language and blah, blah, blah. blah. It's another thing to say nobody can go there except these people. You know what I mean? No, no, facts. It's quite a different thing. I'm very glad that most of these places are welcome and open to like just ev- like everybody to come and experience these things because that's how they make money and that's how they stay afloat and whatnot. And as far as I've experienced, no, like, like side eye glances, even at me or anything like that. So I don't know. I get a lot of side eye glances at fucking stores up around here. So there you go. No, and that's the thing. Cause it's, and don't get me wrong. It's not even so to, like as much to do about like um like a certain person like because it's it's that's why I'm, i was trying to stay straight away from like saying like it's like a race thing but it's more of of just depending on where you are like people have their uh people still have their um biases in a sense or their perceptions you know what i mean like yep. depending on depending on where you are or or, or although times are changing like it's it's you see that a lot of these Although like the older people maybe have like certain customs, you might see like some of the younger generations within certain cultures, they don't care. Like if they mesh, everything flows together and whatnot. But yeah, yeah, um, yeah. yeah man. But yeah. I'm really getting, uh, sorry, that's something I give like the younger generation, like the next generation below us a lot credit for. Like they have a lot, like they're way fucking farther advanced with like all like, not just like compassion and empathy and stuff like that, but like... I, woke is like a shorthand for all that but like they know like they didn't have to go through all like this learning process as much they know like they can't they did but it was like it was different and a lot of what i've heard from like like people saying like yeah this next generation they're really fucking smart like they're really smart and they've got all their shit together in the right areas and they're fearless so props to them yeah it's it's but to a degree right i mean I'm looking at it from a standpoint, Trent, where if as long as they're parents, right? Because it's like in anything, whether it's cultures that start to build up in a city, like, uh, or if it's from a, a, a standpoint of like when you're at home, it's, it's, it's all to do with the upbringing. Because for example, if you have a business and you're taught to always welcome customers, things of that nature, bro, like, no matter what the situation is, even if somebody doesn't have money, you're gonna welcome them into your store because they might just need a place to chill when it's raining out or something like that. Opposed to telling them, "Hey, you don't have any money? Uh, get uh, hurry up or get out of my store, or whatever cases, right?" Mm-hmm. But even, but even not even on like a, a, I guess I don't know. It just comes down to because obviously no home is perfect, but it's like it comes down to I guess how decent you were raised. And it sucks that it has to be like that within more or less all aspects of life because it's like everyone can be we can all like afford to be selfish but then when you when you talk about like building communities within a city or just building like starting from your own home outward like yeah man she she can get real like because you want to i guess they're saying or or one's perspective might be like to want to integrate and be within everybody's society so that you're not uh you're not like ostracizing yourself or your family, especially if you come to a new area, you just moved to a, a neighborhood trend and, and, and you tell your kids, don't play with those kids or don't blah, blah, blah. You would think it'd be the opposite because you'd want your kids to feel welcome versus, you know what I mean? Getting shunned. My dad says, don't play with you. And then all of a sudden, like you being the kid who lived in that neighborhood for a long ass time, you tell all the other little kids, all right, don't play with this, these two kids that just moved in. And then now all of a sudden your kids don't have no friends. Like it's just this, uh, an analogy, but it's like, it kind of, it, it kind of goes for everything, I guess. When, when you talk about like just how decent you're raised and shit, but you know, that's honestly, just a perspective. Yeah. Just a perspective. And honestly, if you were raised fucked up, it's all a process of unfucking yourself from like, how you've been raised like it's Having not easy it's not easy that, and if you're willing to put the work in like the the juice is worth the squeeze and that's get in that instance but like a lot of people haven't been willing to put the work in they just like fall back into the bad habits they were taught and they just learned their entire lives and haven't 
got out of that their entire lives. I'm no, I'm no different than a lot of that too. Like I have a lot of bad habits myself that I've learned, but I've also unlearned a lot of bad habits and learned some good habits along the way too. So it's a give and a take, but it's, like I said, it's all a process of unfucking yourself. If you were growing up like really bad, basically. No, true. Very true. It, it's, it's, it's that having that self-awareness of, of wanting to do that as well, wanting to unlearn things and learn and learn new things that you might do better. These are all, these are all, I guess, parts of it. I don't know. I just, Sometimes you think you, you got to think though. It's like where are you putting your um, urgency? I guess whether it's in the self, your self betterment, like how you you get better each day or whatever, or uh, if you're somebody who constantly struggles with trying to get better each day, or or just kind of continue on the path you've been on, or I don't know, man. All this all this stuff uh, to me, as I realize, like we kind of have this idea Trent where it's like all right well fuck it we have a forever in a day or whatever or like we like somebody might express something to us like hey man I I don't really like when you do this and then you as that person might continue to do what they don't like and it's unfortunate mm -hmm. it's like it all depends on where you're putting your like your your urgency like where are you trying to change shit where are you trying to better shit because if you don't even have that awareness Trent to want to better yourself then at that point it kind of sucks because you don't want to just say that that person's lost, but then it's like, you might not, be, you're not their parent, so you can't really guide them. And maybe they won't even want your guidance. You know, that's what that. But, it, but that's the thing. It is their loss. If they refuse to expand their framework or they just don't know enough to expand their framework from what they've known, that's to their detriment. And it really sucks like to the individual, especially if like they're a loved one or a friend or something like that, or, <clears throat> even just you don't know them it still sucks because these people are stuck in the narrow framework that they've grown up in and they felt com and they feel comfortable in and they don't you know they don't have any uh need or fucking want to explore outside of that and that's sad man because this is a goddamn big world and there's a lot of things to explore and see and a lot of things to experience and why limit yourself to what you've known and what you've always known sort of thing. You know what I mean? Like why yeah, limit yourself to just that, like learn more, like we said, learning more every day, but also not just that, but like be willing to open your, be willing to like, be willing to be open to new experiences. That's what I was trying to say. No, Ooh, but that's, fucking that's weed, man. no, but that's what it is. Trying, but beyond being willing to be open to new experiences, I'm talking about, cause Granted, those people being lost, I'm, it's not about saying like, oh, I'm not even worried about them as far as to say like, because you can't really save everybody. But I'm talking about from a standpoint of to the people who quote unquote are conscious or can make those changes, Trent, or are unlearning like a you or like a me or like a whoever chooses to actually be self-aware. I don't know, man. I'm just because like I was saying before, like somebody can express like that they don't like doing something or, or they don't like when someone does something and unfortunately it might take two or three or four times of telling that person before they get it and it's not about trying to control that person it's more about saying okay if me and you are going to engage in something these are these are the terms that i'm comfortable doing it versus we just don't communicate that and then eventually if you're constantly engaging with this person but you guys are constantly button heads then all of a sudden it, it falls apart and this that and the third that's why it's like I guess it's like if you're yeah if you're if you're a, actually have the ability to, to change the way you live and be self aware Trent it's like yeah man we gotta again I asked the like I kind of asked the question of where are we putting our urgency because that's kind of that's kind of a, a really important thing because again we don't have forever in a day and a lot of us think we do and a lot of us kind of wake up thinking like oh fuck man I got a shift tomorrow man this is some bullshit you don't even know if tomorrow's coming. <laughs> like and it's not about saying it on some morbid shit it's more about saying it on some where are we putting our enjoyment where are we where are we showing our like how are we uh living our best lives so to speak and it's not about saying it from a a, a weird like uh you you gotta be perfect type of thing i'm talking about just from a when you wake up like are you enjoying your experience and if you are hopefully you can continuously like replicate that process because we don't have forever and it's like beyond not like it's just i'm looking at it from a standpoint again it's just 
where are we placing our like where are we prioritizing like our our energy you know where are we putting that shit man i love how you put that where are we put where are we placing our urgency i really enjoy how, like i really really like how you like worded that um i definitely can say right now where i'm placing a lot of my urgency is not just with doing this podcast and trying to like do other things with this channel that i've just been placing off <laughs> at this point um but it's just mostly social things like just not just with my girl but like with all my friends and stuff around here like that's pretty much that's pretty much where i've been putting a lot of my urgency if we're putting yeah. it that way into and yeah yeah okay that's that's just something energy, I'm, i guess you know yeah like where are you putting the focus of your energy? I know I'm using the term urgency, but I guess the urgency is more just the now. The set, like the, yeah, like the, the like where like are we understanding that our time is urgent? Not saying that you have to be doing everything in a rush, but just more being spontaneous with what you do. But also like I don't know. Again, it's just because sometimes you want to say things, but I'm gonna hold back because again, you know. But it's just one of those things where Trent, it, it, it's it's not about thinking about the inevitable it's but it's about thinking like yo man i might if i wake up and choose to sit on my couch for eight hours watching netflix and just doing that okay you're choosing to do that for that day no one can look at you and be like wow he's wasting his day or she's wasting her day because in truth if that's how you want to enjoy your day that's what's happening it's not about trying to save the planet on some type of messiah complex i'm talking about just I'm curious when I ask, like, because for example, I know a young lady who she might always express to me like, oh, I'm working today. I'm working today. I'm working today. I'm like, when are you ever going to take a day off? Oh, uh, like I'll take a day off in the future. Da, 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 da. Like I want to work and stack up all, all the bread right now. Okay. But what happens if, like, for example, it's, it's worse in September. I'm doing all my vacation time in December. But what happens if December doesn't come in the way you want it to? Like, not saying that anything bad is going to happen to you, but just you go to book that time off and now all of a sudden December's all booked up so you can't. Now you have to wait till January or some other time. Life doesn't always happen on your terms and on your plan. That's why I'm saying like, where are you prioritizing your happiness throughout like each day? Granted, you're fortunate to even get another day, right? I don't know. I, that's what I, I guess that's kind of like when I when I ask the question today to the listeners, like that's kind of what I'm asking because if it's not about, if you want to be smart about it you can write down these things people but to at least you can look at physically look at something and be like i'm focused on this 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 if i'm fortunate to get another day these are my focuses then that's dope as hell man pinpoint that shit in my opinion you know uh, pretty that's the best advice you can give them right now man like if you especially if you're it, it makes it more concrete when you have something to like look at and put it on paper it's supposed to just floating around in your head it's the same when it comes to like ideas and like plans and stuff like that. It becomes real when you put it on paper because it's before that it's just a thought, but when it's put down into like the concrete material world, that becomes a real thing at that point. Yo, man, but that's what it is. Um, yeah, man, I guess that's, that's kind of all I wanted to get out to the people as far as just mentioning one, two about like the different cultures in the city or so, as far as why I'd be seeing the good and the bad, the ugly, whatever. And just like, as, and also on another note, just asking the people like, what are you prioritizing? Where's the focus of your energy? What's urgent to you? What, like, I guess, what is your urgency? I, although that might not be a proper question as far as how it's actually said, but I know you guys it are all intelligent. in the context. That's the what context I'm saying. Is the that's kind. the context, because that's the beauty of it. Everything, in my opinion, you need the context around it so uh, so you don't have a skewed vision of it, skewed version of it, I should say. And, so basically, and, it's some, it really touches on something uh, I've said a couple times on here, because it really, it really, like I said, this is why it resonated with me. It was, um, like I said, we are trapped in the now. We are, the future and the past are wrapped up in the present, because the present is right happening right now and the future in the past may not happen if tomorrow doesn't happen or right now stops happening so it is urgent in that sense like you are in this moment right now and this moment is happening regardless if you want it to happen or not it's happening so it is urgent so where so placing that energy is just placing that energy in the urgent situation so urgency so where so 
where are you placing your urgency? What is your urgency? I like that. It makes sense in that context. If you look yeah, at life, bro. like if you look at life like that, basically. Because, and this is the thing, don't get me wrong. It's just a perspective. You might be like, well, Graham, not everybody looks at it. Some people, when they wake up, it's just a slow pace, blah, blah, blah. And again, I'm not saying you have to rush when I say urgent. I'm talking about more just the importance. Because I promise you this, if you don't have things that are important to you or that you're trying to accomplish each day, whether it's self-betterment, learning things, unlearning things, et cetera, you might find yourself having those different anxieties or those different, oh, I don't know what I'm going to do with my life, blah, 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 blah. Well, take your time and just one small goal at a time, write down, hey, I want to learn how to do this better. Hey, I notice I have this problem with myself. Let me see if I can curb that et cetera, et cetera, versus just trying to be on some, again, Messiah complex. I want to save the plan. I want to save everything, save everybody. That's not how it works. Small victories each day, my friends. But yo, Trent, yeah. I'm going to let you get back to your evening. I'm gonna, We're going to rock out. And you already know what it is. It's always a pleasure talking, man. It's always a pleasure seeing you, man. Always, man. Always. I mean, and to the people listening, it's, it's, it's always beautiful. Just remember, living in the now. You know what I mean? Like, just if you're for, super fortunate to have a now you're in the moment be in the moment you know what i mean enjoy that shit my name's graham i'm trent we out this month yo another episode ultra fly talk <laughs> <laughs>